To perform a manual calibration of the Sensit HX G3P, we will need the instrument itself, a regulator with cal adapter, and the calibration gas, which is 50% LAL methane or 2.5% by volume, or alternatively 50% LAL pentane or 0.75% by volume. To begin, power on the instrument by pressing and holding the A button. The model type and hardware version number will be displayed, followed by a system check. The date and time will be displayed, the gas type, the serial number, and finally a brief warm-up. After the warm-up, the instrument will auto-zero, and the screen will advance to the working display. Before calibrating, we must verify the date and time and perform a flow check. To verify the date and time, enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button, then scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until set clock appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and the date and time will be displayed. If any adjustments are needed, you can increase the current field by pressing and releasing the B button, and scroll to the next field by pressing and releasing the C button. Once the date and time are correct, save by pressing and releasing the A button, and again to return to the work display. To perform a flow check, Place the finger over the inlet at the end of the gooseneck until a flow block message appears. Allow the instrument to warm up for an additional 5 to 10 minutes before calibrating. To begin, enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button. and scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until calibration appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and we will have a menu for the different possible calibration points. In this case, we only have 50% LAL methane, because that is how the instrument is set up. So we can attach the regulator to the calibration gas, Turn on the regulator and attach the cal adapter to the inlet at the end of the gooseneck. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and the calibration process will begin. On the display, we have a number for the raw output of the sensor. This number is useful as a reference when troubleshooting if any issues should occur. Once a stable reading has been achieved, Data saved will be displayed, and the calibration will be complete. The data was saved and the calibration is complete. We can now turn off our regulator and remove the cal adapter from the end of the gooseneck. And return back to the user menu and then the working display by pressing and releasing the A button. Allow the instrument to clear before powering off. For pentane, if the instrument is not already set up for pentane, we can change the gas type in the user menu. Press and hold the B button to access that menu. And scroll by pressing and releasing the C button. until gas type appears. 
select by pressing and releasing the B button. And if natural gas is already selected, we can change the pentane by pressing and releasing the B button. Exit by pressing and releasing the A button. And if we wish to perform a calibration, we can scroll through with the C button until calibration appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. Attach the regulator to the calibration gas. Turn on the regulator. And attach the cal adapter to the end of the gooseneck. Select by pressing and releasing the B button. And pentane calibration will begin. Once the instrument has achieved a stable reading, data saved will be displayed and the calibration will be complete. The data was saved and the calibration is complete. We can remove the cal adapter from the end of the gooseneck, turn off our regulator. You can now exit back to the user menu and to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button and allow the instrument to clear before powering off. To verify the calibration date, enter into the user menu by pressing and holding the B button, and scroll through the menu by pressing and releasing the C button until show cal log appears. Select by pressing and releasing the B button, and we'll have a display for the calibration point and the most recent date that the instrument was calibrated. Pressing and releasing a button will return to the user menu. And we can return to the working display by pressing and releasing the A button.